cities across Russia. Some took to the streets trying to denounce a war and a plan to force hundreds of thousands to fight in it. The arrests came quickly. People in Russia learned the government will call up 300,000, mostly young men who went through basic training. I'm not happy with this. Uh, I want uh, we uh, and other countries to live in peace. We're only identifying this student uh, by his work. first name, Georgi. Uh, but the 23-year-old received a draft notice on Monday. He hopes to be exempted, but knows there are no guarantees. He and his family watched Putin's address in disbelief. Mm, I was shocked. My mother uh, was crying. Russia's move to call up reservists is a sign of how much its military is struggling. Today, the defense ministry said that nearly 6,000 soldiers have died so far. A significant underestimate, say Western officials. And it was the West that Putin took aim at during his pre-recorded address. We will without question use all the means at our disposal to protect Russia and our people, he said. This is not a bluff. He said the four Ukrainian regions that plan to hold referendums have Russia's full support. After all, they're currently occupied by Russian troops. By voting to join Russia, analysts say it sets the stage for further escalation. For the first time, I think that he really believes that he is losing. He is becoming irrational, um, something that we couldn't uh, expect from the Vladimir Putin we are now expecting. On the streets of Moscow, hours before the evening's protest, many were supportive of the government's plan and say the referendums are a long time coming. They want to live decently. That's why they're looking to be rescued by joining Russia, said one man. We need to protect them and we need to be united in everything. But Russia's war next door now feels even closer to home. And it will get harder for some to keep carrying on as if life here hasn't changed. Briar Stewart, CBC News, London.